Is that better? Yeah. Oh, start it over? <laughs> no, I think that does Oh, well, we're having a problem with my microphone, but it's all set now. Tonight we're going to bring you, it's kind of like, um, I think Cheryl and I were talking about, it's kind of like a, just a bullshit night because there's things that have been aggravating us all week. So, but before we get started, please support the following groups that we, that we follow. Tough, which is Truckers United for Freedom. Please go to the website. There's local news and a lot of other things going on that might be interested if you're out there driving. Sovereign Roads with Ron Stinson, Truckers for Christ with Stephen Myers, Truckers Back the Blue, with Di which is John's, and then we have Truckers Final Mile with Robert Palm, Trucks with Room to Spare, Shelley Conway, Real Woman in Trucking with Desiree Wood, and She Trucking. Okay, I just, her, my, her name, oh my God, was Sherry Moore. <laughs> her name just went out of my head. And when I want to give a shout out to Matt Kang, you can find us on YouTube, Spreaker, Twitter, please like and share. But right now, I think um, a lot of our groups that we're with, oh, and then um, just as a reminder before I forget, watch, listen to the Schmitz if they're on Monday night. They always put on a good show. On Wednesday night, um, we have the conservative show, the Common Sense Conservatives, but they're also going to be on the radio, st on WSMN, a radio station, and it's an AM and FN, and we'll get more information on that. They'll be going on that, and we can also find them on the WSMN website, on the radio website, so that's going to, they always put an interesting show on. And on Thursday nights, we have Truckers for Christ. So we have some, quite a, quite a good lineup. There's a few more people that are interested. We just haven't got back with them yet to find out what they want to do on TIBN. So if you're interested in becoming a, doing a podcast on our network, just give us a call. You can email me or you can contact John at Tough. So that would be awesome. Hi, Hardy. I'm glad that you're watching tonight. I don't know what happened to Baby Doll, but we'll start off with one of the things we wanted to talk about was some, I got an email from somebody, and they were very upset over the fact of uh, we had one night when we were talking about all the good work that Desiree Wood does. I have to tell you, I find her, um, she's, I just think that a lot of things she has done for the truck drivers and for, for driving and for all the things that she supports, she's done a great job. She's given up a lot of her time at her own expense to travel to Washington to do quite a, quite a few things. So someone had told me that they had joined um, James Lamb's group, and he's still trying to take a lot of credit <laughs> away from Desiree. Just to put it out there, James Wood has not worked on uh, anything with Desiree. He does not belong with Desiree's group, with the real woman in trucking. Um, just so everybody knows that James Lamb's not even a truck driver. And if you look into his vacuum, you will find out that he actually stole money from truck drivers. So, guys, be careful with what you say out there. And then um, She Trucking, I want to tell you, She Trucking does a lot of things for a lot of women drivers out there. She makes little packages. Their, their group is open to every woman that, has, that needs help. And right now, there's a lot of women that need help getting their license, um, setting up their trucks, finding daycare, Give Cherise her group a call. Uh, they have such great resources for women. So I just wanted to make sure that people knew what was going on with those two. They are really good groups to follow. The other thing we wanted to talk about was, as you know, the Department of Justice this week put a lawsuit against the state of Georgia for their rights, for their voting rights, which I got really upset about because I read their voting rights. I don't see anything unreasonable about their voting rights. One of the biggest things that they're talking about is voter ID. Voters shouldn't have to have an ID. You shouldn't have to have an ID to vote. Well, hi Bambi. She's my friend from school. So what was bothering me about the voter ID was for me to get a license to drive a vehicle, you have to bring your birth certificate, 
you have to bring a form of proof of where you live so you can get your license. Now, on my job, I have to have a card. I have to have a staff ID with my picture saying that I am part of the school staff. Okay, to work in a hospital, you have to have an ID card in case of an emergency. If there's a, if there's a, any type of emergency, say, say there's an earthquake, all nurses, all doctors, everybody has to go in. You have to have that ID card to go in and be of service. If I join any type, if I join the military, I have to have an ID card. I have to show them who I am. Now, I'm trying to think. Is oh, EBT cards. If you are, need to get food stamps or anything else, you have to have an ID to get an EBT card. You have to show proof of who you are. So I don't understand why. Why the big deal is that you have to have an ID to vote? If someone can enlighten me on that, I'd be great. Like I have to go for my license. And for now, to get this new license to be federally compliant, so every single one of us is going to have to do that. Is the paper. There are three steps. You have to be three forms. So I have to prove once again with my Social Security card, once again, proof of residency, once again. Now I have to bring in our marriage certificate because my name has changed. I have to prove who I am to get the new licenses that will act as a passport. So why can't you get an ID to vote? If you drive, you need an ID. Even if you don't drive, you, need, you get a state ID. Without that state ID, you cannot get an EBT card. You cannot cash a lot of checks. There's a lot of things you can't do without a state ID card. And now with the new vaccination, they still want proof of who you are. They look at your license and they copy down everything. So even getting the COVID shot, you need to have your license. So I don't get it. And I don't buy this crap that people in undeveloped places can't get their license. Now I know a lot of people who live in, um, uh, I'm gonna say, okay, we'll say it, that live in the ghetto. They got their license, they're driving. They got an ID, so I don't, I don't care what nationality you are and I don't care what color you are, you can, get, you can get an ID. They even will come to you, especially to vote. So. Now, Sean Mitchell said that Indiana tried, it didn't pass. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Greenfield. Um, well, I know in the state of New Hampshire, I have to bring this, all this stuff to get my license because my license is up for renewal. So, I don't know. If anybody can explain to me why, why that we shouldn't ask for IDs when we go to vote, I would like to know. I can. What? So they can cheat easier. What do you mean so we can cheat? Cheating is easy. It is when they don't ask for an ID. Hi, Marianne. I don't know. I, I, well, that was another thing that we were talking about this week. Georgia, uh, Manco County, they're still resisting to show anything about their voters. They don't want to show their, their ballots. They don't want to show anything. So if, you ha if, if it was all up and up, you just show it. That's how I look at it. If someone's going to accuse me of cheating, I'm going to put it right out there. Here, you tell me. Will you find whatever you need to find? You know, we had that issue in New Hampshire and in Winham. They found that unfortunately a lot of the Republican votes were thrown out or whatever, something was not right, and some of the Democratic votes were, I think they were done on the wrong paper. I never knew you had right and wrong paper to vote. I didn't know in some, in some um, states that you have a little yellow mark on the back to prove that's an actual state ballot. I didn't know all that. Did you know that, John? No, but different states have their own different uh, uh, ballot printouts, so they have their own means of doing things to, to, you know, regulate it. I know. That is true. We got to find out what happened to Baby Doll. <laughs> I, I'll uh, bet you dollars the donut. She fell asleep. Um, we'll get a cardboard cutout for next show. And we'll just yeah, put it we'll, in that we'll just stick her right over in. here because, like, uh, where are you? Yeah, you know, I mean, what's going on down there? She's only she's downstairs, so I don't know what's going on. She's not in the studio at the moment. But there was a lot of things that have been going on this week. Um, one of the things was I I, I want to give a, my condolences to all the people that are 
still waiting for a word for their families that were in the collision of that school, I mean, um, of that condo. I can't even imagine something like that happening. We see a lot of that in a lot of third world countries. It was really quite the shock to see that happen in America, to have that condo just fall within a few seconds. That's the craziest thing. That, that is, is terrible. That is weird. Uh, I, I thought maybe they were going to say, because it's Florida, I thought maybe there's sand shift, and I'm thinking to myself, but in Florida, they'll dig down. They'll, they'll, they'll uh, uh, auger out the ground about 25 feet deep and pour it full of solid concrete. Uh, to create a foundation yeah. for for so that sort of thing doesn't happen and they've had like say hurricane charlie wash out the sand from underneath condos while the condos still stood and they had to go back and and fill in backfill in the sand and stuff but apparently this was just a uh, uh, poor concrete it was aged it was crumbling and it was deteriorating and fell apart which is incredible because i think there must have been something wrong with the concrete mix well, how old was it, you know, if it was built in the 1950s or something, and uh, salt and stuff were, were in Well, I have to water. tell you, the Seven Mile Bridge, when they redid the Seven Mile Bridge, that was in 1978, 1979, and 1980, I actually was the cement checker. I used to have to take the cement pours, take it to a place, and they would check it to make sure it was the right, what they needed to ha- right slump. sludge. You're talking about the slump. Yeah, the slump, to make sure that it was okay to be poured. Um I can't foresee. I think they had to do that from that time on because of the hurricanes. Well, it, it, concrete is, a, is an interesting huh? science. The clock's wrong. How can your clock and your phone be wrong? <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> it's te- it's it's digital. Yeah. Here I, here I was accusing you of falling asleep. No, my clock was wrong. <laughs> well, was. well, 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 well. <laughs> Cheryl Pollard is watching, and she's in the baby doll is in the house now. I'm sorry, guys. And so. she's full of crap because I can smell cigarette smoke. I was, I was just fixing to smoke. Yeah, 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 an yeah, hour. yeah, yeah. No, she's not supposed to be smoking. She didn't have an hour because what? What do you mean you had an hour? Because when I was downstairs, I'll be right back on your phone. But you, when we were downstairs, I'll be, I'll gonna, I'll be right back. I'll be right upstairs. My bad. Yeah, she's nodding. That's that's not I'm unusual. Sorry. I am so Not sorry. I'm, I did give the shout out for Desiree and Cherie because of James Lamb and his bullshit. So. My bad. Yeah. So I the reason, the reason, ladies, for the slump test is because you're going to check the uh, uh, the consistency of the concrete. Normally, when you do a concrete pour, you want at least a five slump. The five slump is about five inches of concrete when you pull the cone away. So basically, there's a cone and you fill it with concrete. Yeah. You mix it up. When you pull the cone away. When it settles down, it should be at least five inches thick. And this is what, what uh, amounts to the temperament of the concrete, the, st- you t- uh, the, the strength of the concrete, you know, the uh, uh, pounds per square inch, which it, which it can withstand. And uh, when people pour too much water into it and they reduce the slump, what they do is weaken the strength of the concrete. And that's a possibility if they used uh, uh, added too much water to it, used a bad bad mix, and uh, it's a possibility if it was a newer uh, condo that that's what happened. Is somebody wasn't doing their job and checking the slope. Well, something had to go wrong because just the, just the way the whole thing went down, you know that 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 bothers me a lot. Well, water also interacts with concrete, deteriorates it, and if you get salt mixed into it, like salt water. That will also interact with concrete and deteriorate it. So if you don't treat your concrete and keep it up, you got to maintain it. you got to treat it, otherwise it deteriorates. And that's a possibility within itself, too. But if it was thick, it was, it was a thick product. It should not have, you know, considering a condo or something, it should not have collapsed like that. No, it's just, that to me is just, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine waiting for, fa- I just can't. I mean, it's just so, <laughs> to me, it's just so depressing. I just, those poor people. Never mind being trapped. And then they said there was a fire going on underneath. So you know how bad that is in Florida, too. But if, if I don't know, old buildings, I think they, are they going to start checking all the old buildings now, I hope, to make well, sure like that doesn't happen Like our bridges, too. <laughs> well, we, I worked on a bridge study back in the 70s. And I think four of those bridges have been fixed. And that was, a ni- that was uh, 19, probably 1980, I think it was 1980. We did the bridge studies because they needed to know how wide and the weight limit on the bridges to ship missiles, to ship missiles back and forth. So, because they go by truck, missiles, missiles go by truck. Missiles? 
Michels. Yeah. They got Michels? Yeah, Michels. Yeah. Are they Michels like Sean go. Michels? <laughs> Sean Mitchell. Yeah. He's on here, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he's on tonight. <laughs> Man, I feel like a heel. You are tonight. I am a heel. So I that means swear. you have to go down and sweep after so I can poly the floors. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I did it. I was just sitting there. Because when I went down, it said 430 on this phone. I don't know. I don't know what kind of phone that is. Oh, it uh, says SIM not card is not provided. That's why. That's why. I, I had the wrong phone, guys. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just saying, it was just a crappy. We've had such a bad week with all this stup- all this politicking stuff that's going on. Like, oh, man. I talked a little bit about the DOJ, and he's going to sue, you know, the state of Georgia because he doesn't want, he doesn't like the voting regulations. I personally like the voting regulations because if we're going to have a clean and fair vote, oh. so we don't have to go through all this stuff anymore, you bring an ID. I know when we when we lived in Florida, John, we had to ha- show our ID. Oh, we had to I show. Remember. We had. Um, to, far as I know, we've always had to show ID. In the state of New Hampshire, you have uh, to I show did, your yeah, ID. I was say New Hampshire, we did too, and, and it's a requirement. There's nothing wrong with requiring such things, like Tracy said. It creates a fair and just election, and it doesn't matter which side. You know, we're not talking about what we want. We, we, you know, we want the right to win. It's it's a matter of who voted and, and what's the majority vote and who should win. You know, and if the left wins, by all means, and they won. You know, fair and square, then we'll deal with it. If uh, the right wins, then then they won, and that's great too. Mm-hmm. Um, but to, to sit there and allow them an avenue to cheat. It's just incredible, it, and yeah. it's got to stop at some point in time. We need we need better oversight when they're allowed to chase away the, uh, um, what do they call them? We need them? better politicians is what we need. <laughs> yeah, we need That's politicians an understatement. with a backbone. That is an understatement. But if we don't have to show ID, then that voids out me being a felon because I can just walk in there and vote. Only if you ride the bus. <laughs> well, that is true. you got to get on the bus. right bus. bus. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I I think it also bothered me, and I don't know if this bothered a lot of other people, but when when they start talking about the race, because uh, well, you know, black people don't don't have can't get there to get an ID. Are you saying that my brothers and sisters that are black that are dumb and they can't get somewhere? They don't know how to get an ID. I find that really insulting. I do. I find that insulting to my, you know, I, I know so, I have so many black friends. I'm thinking, I do too. But do you, your, your mother and father can't figure out how to, I mean, are you kidding me? Come on. I'm well, sick, we I'm got sick city the, buses. We got that's bicycles. Not the, my, that wasn't my point. My point well, was yeah. it's the stupid rate baiting yeah. that's saying that. Yeah, but. All of a sudden, oh, oh, all of a sudden now, um, you know, white people, you need to work harder and give you money and for this and that. I, are, are you kidding me? I, I was told that hell? I need to work twice as hard to support minorities. I'm like, there's nothing wrong with them. They're not handicapped. They They're can not. work. Then what, what's the issue? You hey, know? Jason. Uh, well, in uh, regards to what Tracy's saying, yeah, they, they turn around and, and talk about fairness and, and treating people right, but then turn, and then be insulting about it and say, well, they're too poor to afford to travel and get ID. They're too poor to be able to, to get matters done, or they're too stupid. And it's like, dude. That is racist within itself. You're, you're you're insinuating because they're black, they're stupid. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. That's that's yeah. That's the truth. <laughs> y- y- what they're doing is telling us that the black man is stupid by telling us that he can't go get an ID and stuff. But and that's so wrong. But they can't see that. They they can't see that they're actually the go- everybody's putting them down rather than building them up. Well, I'll, I'll say this this isn't very this isn't really shouldn't go there, but someone had made a comment about she trucking and she got that way because she was black. And I'm gonna tell you something. She didn't get there because she was black. Mm. Sheree Moore works her ass off. Yes, she, she does. works her ass, she helps other women. Mm-hmm. She does more for a lot of women in trucking. Her and Desiree work so hard for all women in trucking. Mm-hmm. Not not that woman in trucking who's never even drove a truck. Right. We're not talking about her. We're talking about actual women who actually drive trucks. Yeah. Who actually get out there and get motivated to get changes for women in trucking. And real yeah. women in trucking. We're real women because we were yeah. truckers. And, and we, trust me, we all have our own views about what's going on. But we still interact. We still respect each other. We still come together. But, you know, we support the real women in trucking. We support she trucking. 
We support anybody that's actually doing something in this industry besides running their mouth and don't know oh, what they're is, talking I, about. This is what I love. This is what I like. Like, we support a lot of groups, and all these groups have, you know, they're all trying to find something. Um, I like the group that says, we started a group, but to be in this group, it's going to cost you 20 30 40 whatever, whatever they're charging. <laughs> and we're going to make a good deal. You, we can take it out of your bank account once a month. Well, sign me up, sister, because I just want somebody to take money out of my bank account. But I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what your ideology is. I have no clue of where that money is going to go. Well, mm. unfortunately, uh, my, my mom and my dad, they brought up me to say, ask questions. Don't ever give Lots up money. Lots of questions. Ask questions. The only stupid or dumb question is the one you don't ask. That's the way I was taught. Well, <laughs> also this week, I, I shared out to a lot of groups about this really nice thing that John had written. And he, it was very well written. You might not agree with it, but so far, I think I sent it out to 90 different places. And I got over 200 likes, and I got two dislikes. How's that, John? John's a really good writer. Oh, this is for Sean Mitchell and your peculiar. Tell him I said that. <laughs> <laughs> and then John says, "Great idea. Let's give up the account number." Yeah, I'm. All, I, I need some account numbers. But anyways, shoot, I won't even let the bill collectors auto pay me. Oh my God! You think I'm gonna let some group that says they're gonna be doing something in the trucking, and we have no idea what they're really doing? Well, no. And, and the thing was, um, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen them do. Everything. Oh, I, I know. I wait a minute. They made a few calls to Congress. That's important. That's impressive. Hell, I've made some calls to I, Congress. I, I have too. I yeah. mean, I've even been there I've knocking even on doors. I've even stood on the Congress yeah. steps. And we knocked on doors and, and spoke yeah. to people. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't get. And we didn't even write didn't, nasty hey, notes on the welcome pages yeah, like that I'm, wasn't a good idea. Yeah. That like was I not heard a good other idea. people did. That was not a good idea. No, that was not that good. That doesn't represent us in trucking. But, anyways, no. I think we should start charging. <gasps> If those guys can do it, why can't we? Well, we get well, a lot guys, more done. Okay, guys, listen, we'll, we'll get you a good deal. You, I am out just, of work and disabled. Well, I no, need the money. <laughs> you just send me your name and your address. Send me what bank. Send me your routing number and your account number, and I'll set you up with something. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the login, too. Yeah, the login. And we're yeah. going to need it. We're going to need your <laughs> password. <laughs> you'll, you'll get witches and broom keychains. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have plenty. We'll, we have, we'll make shirts for you. It says well, yeah, the witches are back. That. Yeah, the witches are back. <laughs> mm-hmm. You uh, know, I don't mind being called a witch. I don't even mind being called a bitch. Because if you're calling me a bitch, you're leaving somebody else that might be a poorer soul than myself yeah. alone. Right? Just make sure you put Mrs. Bitch in front of my name. Mrs. Miss. Bitch. Oh, you're Miss. I'm uh, Mrs. Yeah, yeah, she's Mrs. I'm, I'm Miss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still married. My goal was to be like Liz Taylor, but damn. I refuse to die. <laughs> That's the only way. I <laughs> I'm gonna play the fifth on that one. I think I surpass Liz Taylor. <laughs> well, I don't think you've had eight husbands. Uh, no, no, not quite. No, I've had a few. Well, I've had a few, but let's let's leave, it, let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, John? <laughs> we'll just leave it there. <laughs> you don't want to know where my mind just went. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't want to know. Come on, hey, y'all. Hey, Aaron. How you doing, Aaron? Y'all call in and tell us what bullshit y'all tired of this week. We well, figured I'd give y'all yeah, a chance to come is, talk to us. This is bullshit night. Oh, yeah. I, know, I know what bothered me. It was that mayor... Was it in Colorado has who took it upon himself to decide that they're not going to say the Pledge of Allegiance anymore because he, whatever reason, I can't remember what his reason was because I was too shocked when I read it. You're a mayor. You take some type of oath, right? And how many of your constituents think that you're on the up and up when you're running and then you get in there and you say, oh, but now we're not going to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Well, look, I take offense with that. You know, I have... I even Who ha- cares? They, they don't care. Nobody cares that we take offense. Only they care if they take offense. Well, that's true. I'm so tired of hearing people on the right and people on the... Oh, it's like that song. Remember that song? 
Joker's wow. to the right. Oh, wow. wow. Joker's to, to the left. Right. Right. And here right. I am stuck in the middle. With <laughs> yep, that's yep, me. That's I'm not. stuck in the right. middle. Yeah. Because I have friends that are really, really far to the right, and I have friends really far to the to the left. So I'm like, hey, you, know left, you know, right. my, you know where my friends are? Where? In low places. <laughs> yeah. Well, John, I hate now, to say I'm that. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it's just how we feel. We we here trying to speak truth, but we're getting so censored. You know, I got oh. four more days and I'll be back, but I don't know. Oh how long. yeah, TIBN has been censored because we yeah. actually said something about the who. Um, who? Hey, it could be the group the who. We could pretend it's. Remember the song Tommy? Right. Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, So Tommy, we can pretend yeah. we're all deaf, dumb, and blind. Pin, pinball wizard. Pinball wizard, yeah. Remember that song? Yeah, yeah, We yeah. all can pretend that because most people are pretending that, and that's the sad part. Yeah. You know, they're the first ones who are going to scream when um, a lot of their rights are being taken away. Like, uh, I have a friend who believes in the critical race theory. I think it's a crock of crap, but I've been reading studies and studies and studies on it, and the only time that I actually read something good about it is when it's some guy, or was actually it was a woman, she was a doctor uh, of sociology, and um, she has no children, no family, no life. So I'm thinking, how can you tell me what's good for my kid when you've never even had Ow. a kid and you don't uh, even know yeah. how to experience what it's really like? Leland says, okay, I'm listening tonight. How are you guys? Come Hi, on, Leland. It. Leland, come Leland, on we're out just and tell have, us the bullshit having a, the, session. You know, how do you feel about people not ta uh, not standing for the pledge? I don't care if you don't want to say the pledge, but be respectful because I, you want me, that's a, how am I going to put this? You want me to accept your ideas and your beliefs, but yet you're not willing to accept my rights and my beliefs and my ideas because if they don't match the left, you're screwed. If you don't match the right, you're screwed. And you know something? This is a, some, We were talking about this earlier. Not every person that voted for Trump is a fucking terrorist. And if I have to hear that one more time out of the media, it, it infuriates me. It does. It infuriates me. Because first of all, I'll be honest with you, the way I feel might not be how you feel, but we didn't have any good politicians running. Biden is... It, it, <laughs> I think it's actually elder ab abuse what he has to go through. Mm -hmm. He is a puppet for somebody else. Camilla Harris got 1% of the votes when she started running. And if you remember, she sat on Oprah's couch saying she wanted to kill Trump. But that's okay. That's okay for you for, for us to say, for her to say kill Trump. That was okay for Kathy Griffith to cut his head off and have blood dripping on it. That's okay. But if we had said that at about, if we do that about Obama, about Obama or Biden, you're, you're, going, you're, you're being called a terrorist so why weren't they called terrorists hey. for doing that but harris came out and said she was going to take biden to court she was going to make sure he paid for raping that young girl and but yet now, now look at now, her yeah now they just hushed up that girl and that that girl is is i don't know how she's feeling about this because it must be terrible to know that happens yeah that's that's my pet pee leland all this sh you're Talk right, about the flag. Oh yeah, that and was now y'all gonna thing. take the American flag that, from us? That was another or thing. Or rechange it? I saw what Marcy Gray put out there. Grace, whatever her name is. I don't even. I don't even like her music. But that's beside the point. Oh, I'm probably gonna hear about that because you can't say that anymore. No. Because she's a woman of color, and well, I am too. So guess what? You can't censor me for that. But anyways, I saw what she put. This is how she designed the the flag, how it should be. This yes. is her idea. She's going to keep the red stripes, but not the white stripes, because America isn't pure. But that if she had, obviously she never really understood what the flag stood for, because she would understand where purity comes from, but mm. she doesn't. And then she decided, we're not going to keep the stars, because there's not enough stars. Because Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic aren't shown on the flag. Honey, they're not states. But I didn't want to tell her that. Instead of white stars, she decided we're going to have black stars and brown stars and yellow stars. And I, I think that was it. And a few white stars because that reflects all the people. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, God. And she took the blue stripe out, too. Yeah. 
So all we have is red. Uh, and there is no blue stripe. No, there is uh, no, the blue field. Know, the blue field. The, the field. Yeah. So anyways, yes, so anyways, there you go. I'm thinking, are you kidding me? And we're supposed to t give this woman some credit for something. I don't know what she. W I don't know what she was drinking, eating, or smoking when she thought this one up. And I'll put it right out there because I don't care. Uh, I don't like it when people don't stand for the national anthem. I had family that has served in the service. A lot of us, guess what? If we didn't have these men fighting for our freedom, way back with George Washington, we would still be under the king and queen's rules. So here we are. We have our own freedom. But they don't teach that hardly anymore because that doesn't fit the narrative of today. Right. Freedom. I don't know. I don't feel like I, I have I, any freedom anymore. We're not even supposed to talk anymore. No. No. We're not. No. But I we're actually, old I, I and actually, we just need to die and let I the I actually new had an incident. In. I had an incident about this. Mm -hmm. I had two little I had two little black students in my room and they were talking about what we should do if a cop comes to us, we can say you don't like me because I'm black. We can use that against the cops. I was absolutely livid, and I said, "Hey, wait a minute now. Let's put let's let me let's talk about this for a minute. Where I'm white and you're black, and I saw a whole group of white boys beating you up, and you saw me standing there. What would you like me to do? Remember, I'm white." She said, well, Mrs. G, I know that you love me. You would help me. Huh. Oh, really? So I said, how about if a whole bunch of black girls were beating up on me and you being black, what would you do? And they both said, well, we know you. We would help you. I said, so what difference does it make, guys? what you are it's who you are not what you are and not right. what color you are so this race crap that they're hearing all the time or about help me you know we can do this because we're this and that just goes to show you what goes through kids minds and i'm sorry the adults are the one teaching the children this because children they don't think of this stuff no, they don't. Like I said before, or they didn't. my, I mean, I, I don't my know. son did not know there was black people on this. Or on didn't know there was about black people. My best friend was black. She lived with me. Dale lived. We lived together. She babysat Timothy while I yeah. was going to school. I mean, she and he didn't even notice. He only noticed it once when he was five. He's sitting on the stairs. She walks down the stairs and he looked at the bottom of her feet and he couldn't figure out how come it was two different colors. So she sat down, and she told him about it. She's telling him. And he goes, Dale, can we just play cars? He couldn't care either. Right. So it's all what we teach. Yeah. So if we start teaching critical race and all this stuff, poor me, you know, we could actually, we could even start at the beginning. We should just go right back to when America started. Back when Christopher Columbus came over, maybe we should give, maybe we should give the Indians all their land back. How about that? Was that? that was my my. Yeah, it's over here. Yeah. This is my speaker. My. The microphone. Yeah. Yeah. So we hit the. I hit the button. Yeah. Oh. But <laughs> does it matter? No. <laughs> I think I think if we're gonna start doing stuff like that, right, guys? If everybody out there agrees with me, we'll start right at the beginning. Let's just start over. We're gonna start America over tonight. We're gonna start it over. Reform it. Wait Reform. a minute. Reform. Are we starting in Lexington, Concord? Are we having the no. shower around no, the world? No, no, no. We're going to start going over. that far back? Because I want to go all the oh, way no. back. <laughs> we're, going, we're going back. We're going all the way back. We're going to go when the ship started coming over with... The pilgrimage? Well, we're going to start when the, when the Vikings came. <coughs> right? The Vikings were here first. Yeah. Indians saw the Vikings first and probably thought they were pretty impressive because mm -hmm. most American... Native Americans at that period of time were small. And they see these big Norsemen coming over with these big hairy faces and <laughs> his hair all over them and they're snorting their nose, snots all over. You know how those Vikings were? <laughs> snots all over. Right? Okay. Right? They used to take their nose and spit it and pass it oh, on to the next gross, guy. And, okay. Oh my God, ah. this is so gross. But, anyways, we'll go all the way back then. Now, when the Norsemen came, they didn't come over here, and they didn't rape and pillage and kill everybody, no. 
They came over here and said, hmm, this land ain't too bad, but... I don't yeah. know what they did. I don't know if any history to document exactly. Well, they what actually they there did. is history because they have artifacts. We don't know what they did, but we, there were still Indian tribes left. Right. So we're going to come a little forward to Christopher Columbus, huh? What happened when Christopher Columbus came here? Were they welcomed? Yeah. As far as we know. No. Was Christopher Columbus welcomed, or was no, the Indians not? No, no. They made the mistake of raiding the. Uh, they found the food supplies and stuff the Indians had as they were preparing for winter, and they took them. Well, and it creates an, created an outbreak. Well, that's what I just told you. Yeah. Were they welcomed when they came here? When they got off those ships, don't you think the Indians were curious? Yes. Indians have a different religion than most white. Okay, they believe in the great spirit. They believe in the mm. father and they believe in the mother. They believe in like the yin and the yang. Okay, it wasn't just one white man's law, it was all law. Mm -hmm. If you know how Indian religion goes. Leland Smith said he's not giving the land back. That was paid for, that was paid for by us, got by our government. Oh, no, 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 Leland, no, 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 no. They did not get paid for it. They were never given the money. They were given a nice, pretty, shiny necklace and a, they clock. Were giving, and a clock. They were given a boot in the ass, and you move out of here. Let's let's we can talk about. <laughs> it's irrelevant because yeah, it's this irrelevant. is where we're at now. But what I'm but exactly that's my point. Where are we now? Now we're yet making rep reparations because uh, slaves. There hasn't been anybody in the. That's under a hundred, a hundred plus down. There was no, they're not slave owners. Mm -mm. Their families weren't slaves. Our ancestors, I mean, my ancestors had slaves. I mean, okay, you know. Mine but didn't, mine were slaves. I, <laughs> oh, okay, well. <laughs> so, but I mean, it, it's just I, crazy. We did, you're, you're not in my your lifetime. Your ancestor screwed her ancestors over. You better give her some money. Yeah, you better, <laughs> you better. Hey, I'm cleaning your floors tonight, so hush. Oh, you're going to do more than clean the floors. Oh, you're going to make me put my knee pads on? Damn too? right. You're going to be Damn. polishing that floor. Oh, We man. have new floors where we have to poly them. <laughs> so, Indians, what's this? He said it was bought. It was bought. Indians, Indians, Indians. Mad, they should be mad at the tribal. Well, actually, what happened to a lot of those tribal councils, and if you really listen to what really happened to a lot of the tribes, my grandmother had a lot of siblings. She was an Iroquois. They pushed half of their tribe across into Canada during winter, and the ice wasn't all the way formed, so a lot of the tribes were drowned. Mm. A lot of her relatives went under. But I guess that was okay because, you know, it didn't matter because what they – let me think. My families have been called, let me think, prairie niggers, towel heads, Drunken Irish. I guess I got them all. They weren't horse thieves? Oh, yeah, the Irish were the horse thieves, too. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, so, you know, I mean, this is a whole thing about, oh, well, my great, 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 great granddaddy, granddaddy was a slave. Um, okay. Well, my, mo my grandmother, who was twice, you know, 40 years ago, I mean, you know, so here's my thing about it. You know, slavery was slavery when it was slavery. You that's know, right. Everybody wants to keep talking about abject slavery of the 1800s, mm -hmm. and that's well and fine. You know, that's a bit of history. That's something we have and to we get, should get know. past. We should know about we it. Need to, we need to learn from it. Yeah. But what are we doing about slavery today? We're not that's doing anything issue. about slavery today. That was my point. We're not doing anything about slavery today. Black Lives Matter made $90 million. None of that money went back to their communities. I'm going to the DOT building, and I'm saying, let my people go. That's right. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. All truck drivers, we'll let you know the date and time, and we're all going to go to our DOT offices and let our people go. Bring those trucks right up to the doors. <laughs> Get on those horns. We're all going to go together. We could do 2017 all over again. I'm not above it. No. Nope. No, no we did that. There's some people talking. We're getting there again. But I just... Well, quick, people, 
have to start waking up to what's going on today. Not what happened then, but what's being sold in our country today. Right. We have those immigrant children. They were brought here to be sold into the sex trade and to the slave trade. Libya is still taking other men from other parts of Africa and selling them to the Syrians. They're taking young women and young men for slaves and for both the slave trade and the sex trade. So if you want to put your money somewhere, put your money in those organizations. And I hate to say this. People are going to get pissed because they hate Trump. Trump was the only president who gave money, more and more money, to stop this stuff from happening. Right. But that, oh, can't say that because now we're gonna really going to get censored. Yeah. You know, so. Am I right? Are we going to get censored now? Well, last week. If we don't get week, booted, we're definitely going to get centered. Last mm-hmm. week, the Common Sense Conservative got cut off by Facebook at 42 minutes. Right. Uh-oh. They had an, they had a, what was that, a, uh, what did they say, internet disruption or some kind of disruption? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, the YouTube uh, portion of it never got disrupted. The Twitter portion of it never got disrupted. The radio portion didn't get interrupted. Well, so. I have to be honest. Like, I know you guys were talking about the World Health Organization. Um, I've read so much about the World Health Organization, and I honestly, I think maybe sometimes we should have a s- very smart woman president, not Harris. She doesn't. She isn't that smart. Neither is Pelosi. No, well, not Pelosi either. We need someone that we actually, man or woman. We shouldn't say any type of gender. We need somebody that can understand what the working people are actually doing. Not somebody who makes $180,000 a year in salary, three, four hundred, and, and, and is stocking away millions because they're they're buying stocks and doing everything else. Yeah, they got the inside trade. You know, I was in prison with Martha Stewart for that. Yeah, I know. But there's are, so yeah. many others that aren't going to prison that are doing that. Members of Congress. Members right. of Congress. Yep, but that's okay because we're not supposed to talk about that. We can't talk about anything because we, we got, keep getting censored. I mean, mm. you know something? And um, I thought we had Freedom of speech. Hmm. <laughs> what happened to freedom of speech? In this uh, it country? went away. Because you know, I can remember when Obama was running for president, and I wasn't he running against McCain? Yeah. yeah, yeah. In two thousand eight. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. You know, I couldn't stand McCain, and I didn't like Obama. I felt screwed. Once again, we had you know, oh, Obama's a great president. Well, I think people are going to be pretty surprised when stuff really starts coming out and realizing he was a good orator, but he wasn't a great president. Uh oh, that's really gonna get me screwed now. Yeah. Yeah, you're on Facebook. Oh wait a minute. Watch I bet I might as well go with the Clintons now. <laughs> but I voted for Bill. I like Bill. I think Bill I did a lot for of for Bill and, and I think and Bill did at the time. Yeah. I think he did what he did I think he did a good job for our country. And he s didn't he say he was going to be the last American president for the people? What was his statement? On the late late night talk show, he made yes. a statement about that. He very well may be, may be the last American president. president. Yep. Nobody was sure exactly what he was referring to by saying that, but it was an interesting statement. Well, now we know. Yeah. Yep. I'm just so over all of it. I am too. I am. I'm sick and tired of this critical race crap. I'm sick and tired of people saying, well, you can't say the Pledge of Allegiance. You, can, you don't have, you can kneel. But you know, my feelings on kneeling for the, for the, National anthem. I think it's like you kneel for the, like you kneel for God. You kneel in front of the. the they kneel for the king and queen as a sign <coughs> of honor. Yeah. Maybe they're kneeling so in a sign of honor. Standing, standing is respect. Kneeling is uh, subservient. Well, that's true too. Yeah. So you're telling me all these guys? Oh, that's another one. That's that that Ke- Ka- Colin Kaepernick. Well, I don't even know his name because I don't bother with those type of people. Copernic. Copernic, he wants the flag changed, and he wants the national anthem gone. <laughs> I'd like to know who the hell he thinks he is. Uh, and how, why That's does the world we're coming into. Everybody's I mean, opinion matters. Well, mine is no, it doesn't. Well, no shit. I don't care. <laughs> but I guess I, mean, it, I, I guess... I made a critic here, but no, it doesn't anymore. These people do not care. There are a bunch of ox, uh, what did we say? Uh, ostriches. They got their head in the sand. Most people who don't want to follow politics or talk about politics or religion either don't know enough about it or are afraid to talk about it because they might be wrong. and it's Or offend someone or, or for offend standing someone. up for our rights. You don't want to offend anybody. No. 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 But 
you know. That was oh, that's right. This whole month was LBQG. I don't even know all the initials because the, the XYZ gender. The XYZ. What the hell is that shit? I don't get it. I mean, I, I'm a they. What the hell is a they? You. Know what? I don't get the they part. I don't get... The, okay, I'm a they. Well, I had a kid tell me, well, I'm part of they. What do you mean, they? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Black, well... I don't get it. I, I, and, I'm, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of these young 12 and 13-year-olds thinking that they know this. And then, the, I mean, because how many times have we seen this? They're being taught this yeah, stuff. Yeah, they're, they don't know nothing. They're children. We I mean, should go not back that they to the old days. Nothing, but no, we should go back to the old days where the kids you couldn't if you weren't old enough to see porn, you couldn't see it. If you weren't old enough for this stuff, you didn't see it. And people say, "Well, well, they need to be informed." You know something? I'll be honest with you. What twelve-year-old boy or girl needs to sit around in school on their phones looking at porn? I don't know. I don't think that's necessary. No. It's and I'm so proud of my daughter. She's got two teenage daughters. And she is very, very strict on them. They don't have telephones. She's very, I mean, she tried to give them telephones. That didn't work because, unfortunately, one of my daughters, granddaughters, happened to have that mess on her phone. So her mama broke the phone and said, nope, no phones, no Internet. Y'all are going to be children. And when, you know, when you mature, then we'll talk about it. Yes, they do. They need to be. Yes. They need to be children. They don't need to be transsexual. They don't need to be gay. They don't need to be black. They don't need to be white. They don't need to. They be need Asian to be children. Or children. They just need to be children. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know, go outside, and play, get off these violent video games. Well, that's that was another thing. Um, there was there was another shooting in New York that left somebody dead. And someone said, "Oh, we have to get rid of guns." Well, let me tell you something. Most of these shooters that are shooting people. They're all under the age of 50. Yeah. And what do you think somebody from the age that's like, we're going to say, I'll start with 35 and down. Mm -hmm. What do you think they have done all their lives, probably since five or six years old, what do you think they have done? They have played these video games. I don't even care. Um, I've seen games where the kids, little kids are standing there with a little gun in their hands and they're shooting little things going by. Let me duck, teach duck, you how to duck, duck whatever. Yeah. It doesn't even matter. Um, let's shoot this. Let's shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, one of the kids at school showed me a game he was playing. Oh, my God. It was so graphic. I don't. First of all, I don't watch any of that kind of stuff. But secondly, I'm looking at this. He is standing there. like He, he, could, he said, this is my character, Mrs. D. This is my character. So he shows me his character. And it's like this guy who's like 6'4", probably 240 pounds, all built, and he has guns all over. There's three or four guns hanging off him. He's got all these bullets hanging on him. He's got a knife on his legs, and he has a little handgun, and a woman walks through the door. He shoots her in the head. And not only, it, it, it was just it was so graphic. Yeah. The whole back of the her whole head. Blood, I mean, you can blood see everywhere. Everything. And I'm going, oh, you got to be kidding me. You're 12 years old. Yeah. 12. And the music that goes along with that, so degrading and so dehumanizing to women. And, and you wonder why we have people out there killing? You wonder why this, th- they're out there doing this? Why is these kids going through neighborhoods shooting guns off? Because this is what we're teaching them. We're teaching them that it's okay. They're, they're so desensitized by these games, they don't get. There isn't a reset for that person they just shot in real life. Right. And we got 30 and 40 year old men sitting in living rooms playing video games. They say they're making money. I, I, okay. I don't buy that crap. I don't buy that crap. They are off the government. Yeah. No, I so mean, you know. But you got grown ass men sitting here playing video games when there's grass outside that needs to be cut. There's fences that being being to bend. You have children that need to be paid attention to. No, we're playing videos. We're going to play video important. games. And, and, and it's the music. And, and it, like I, I've said this time and time again, I'm listening to these boys, mm-hmm. listening to these, the lyrics, dehumanizing women. Right. And they're desensitized. Even sex, they get desensitized. They get it, It's terrible for these kids. And so instead of just saying, oh, we got to get rid of guns, why don't we start with the violence that our kids watch? On the TV shows, all these cop shows, all these stuff. Oh, the cop's always the bad guy, the good guy. Well, you know, 
I don't know. And then, and then, I, then you read about, let's defund the police when our kids are all this violent. So what are you going to do when a gang of, kid goes, gang of kids go in your neighborhood and they think they're all that in a bag of chips and they have their guns and they have w- their knives mm-hmm. and they think, okay, um, what's that movie? That uh, the grunge, not the grunge. The one where it's okay to go kill everybody. <laughs> Name it. I mean, it's I a don't bunch know. Of There's a bunch no, of no. They just made a second one where th- it's a it's like a holiday. You get to go kill people on this one day. Oh my god! Oh. Right. That's I a holiday. That that's a holiday. That's a Hollywood movie for you. And we allow that. Well, the that's purge. A, the, purge. the purge. Oh. Well, you and know, now we got a national rape day. We have a national where rape day. Where it's okay to go rape somebody. And on there this were women. There day. were women. No, that no, were... no. Wait a minute. Don't confuse that. That was National Rape Day, was supposed to be in recognition of women that have been raped as. Uh, yeah, well, that's oh, not how it came out. That's not how it came out. I know. People got confused on that one. Yes. That was oh, I did. I stayed my ass home that day. I was like, oh, no, I don't feel like going to jail or, or burning a man up because he thinks he's bad enough to come up against me. Well. I'm just saying, this is what we're teaching our kids. Mm -hmm. And then we have enough gall to go out and say, guns are bad. And that's the same thing that goes with with the abortion rights. Oh, don't even get me started on that one. Well, our, our state just said you can't have an abortion after 24 weeks. That's six months. Baby's already that's, formed. That's a baby that is six months old. Why and don't you just go ahead and have it and give it to somebody that can't have a baby? Exactly. Don't, I mean, how can you kill a baby at eight months old? There, There is a double-edged sword in that statement. And the argument to that has always been, okay, who wants it? I mean, there's babies right now waiting to be adopted. So there is an argument against what you're saying. Because they make it too However, hard to adopt. They no, make no, it wait, too- let me finish. The, the point is, why get pregnant in the first place if you don't want it? What happened to our Christian values? Right. Yeah, exactly. What happened to With morals? all the means, the morning after pill, condoms, Exactly. Well, I was raped by five men, and I, I'm just going to leave it men. And uh, I had to go to the hospital, and I took the morning after pill because I was scared to death to, to get pregnant. At the, and I was fertile then. But back in, I think it... I, late or mid 90s maybe 93 94 something like that no i think it was like 96 but anyway back then they had the day after pill so when i got raped i took that so i didn't get pregnant so i don't understand well there's a lot of means and that's what we should be teaching our kids in high school and that would be great but we're not um, I, I have so many kids who have no type of religious training at all, whether it be Catholicism, whether it be baptism, uh, being a Baptist, being Lithuanian, being anything, being Jewish. Mm-hmm. It, it's just all gone by the wayside because it's not the cool thing to do anymore. I had one abortion, but I was a grown She's woman. I was. I was a grown woman with uh, two grown uh, teenage children, but it was in the tubes. So I felt like that was, I mean, I had to do an abortion. Uh, uh, yeah, to, uh, pr- what do they call that, tubal pregnancy or whatever? Yeah, I had that to will kill abort. you. <laughs> yeah, I had to abort the baby. And the baby, that was I'm two talking months about pregnant. That usually amounts to an operation. I yeah. can understand at six months, seven months, eight months, the baby has died, and that has happened. Okay, that's legit. I'm talking about someone who decides all of a sudden they don't. And Planned Parenthood really encourages that. Because what people don't understand about Planned Parenthood, they do get government money, but they make money hand over fist because they take that the aborted fetus and it is sold. Yeah. Parts yeah. of that fetus are sold, and that to me is that's just that's horrible. Mm-hmm. That was my rant. <laughs> that's what that's we've just had a, a weird week and dealing with everything that we've been dealing with. You know, I mean, yeah. I feel bad for my fellows. Some of my friends are police officers, and I actually feel bad for them. Um, I feel bad for their families because then when they fought mom, when you know, mom or dad leaves for work, are they going to come home tonight? You know, shoot, I'm just 
at the way everything's going, I, I'm so ready to just go over there on that piece of land, put a wall around me, do my little fishing I pole, know. collect my food, and tell, uh, tell everybody, go, y'all just go do whatever the hell y'all want to do. Just leave me alone. You know, go get your chips in your But aren't we supposed to go. take care of our brothers and our sisters? We are. We are. But it, they're overruling. It's, it feels like we're being overpowered. It, it, we, I mean, there's more of them So what do we us. do? Do we do when you hide or do we start fighting these idiots? Well, personally, I got a one good fight left in me. But we ain't going to get enough people to, f- that we, we can't get enough people to stand up together. Well, well, obviously, Hell. because, I, well, look at, look at, we're dealing in the truck driving world. Yeah. Okay? No offense to truck drivers out there, but you're all a bunch of lousy ass talkers and you don't want to do crap. No. Now, if you're sitting in your truck and you're waiting to get unloaded or loaded, it wouldn't take nothing to call your state representative. It wouldn't take anything to call your governor's office. I don't care if they don't talk to you. Mm-hmm. Leave a message. Keep calling. But no, no, we're going to play we, video games because we all know you're playing video games or you're watching movies or you're laying there doing whatever and you just give it up. There's a few people that are actually always out making calls, you know. Personally, if we're truly the backbone of America, then maybe we need to stand up and protect America since we are the backbone. Take, don't what, let what it be, be about, about trucking. They, they tell me that Dunkin' Donuts is what keeps America running. <laughs> America runs on Dunkin'. Dunkin'. I hate America. Oh, I hate Dunkin' Donuts I do coffee. Too. I do too. But but that but, but really, if we're the American backbone, if we're the backbone of America, and we see all this happening in America, us truckers should fight for America, fight for our people. Autonomous vehicles. Yeah, they're here. How many how many people do I talk to when I say autonomous vehicle? Oh no, they're not doing that. They can't do that. They it's can't not put, in my lifetime. They, they're they, already on the road. They say, Oh no, they can't do that. I went what do you mean they can't? They are doing it Domino, and they don't need your permission. Domino's pizza's already advertising that they're delivering pizzas with little autonomous cars. Yeah. Yeah. And got uh, it reminds me of Roadrunner and uh the what was it? Coyote and the Roadrunner. Yeah, Coyote and the Roadrunner, because it's got this thing trying to wreck the damn autonomous car. <laughs> That's the noise. Come on, man. You know <laughs> the, the noise. noise. Well, I, no, I don't, actually. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, I'm, I but I'm just saying, you know, I, I hear all these drivers that are always out there sitting and they're bitching and they're sitting around talking and bitching and bitching. Well, you know, stop the bitching and do something. Oh, and Amer- we'll, Americans are known for their bitching. They're very, very complacent yeah. to people anymore. And... It's not just trucking. It's, it's and Americans hell, I, in general. I thought we were going to challenge the autonomous trucks. I thought we were going to challenge their ability when we saw them on the road. Haven't heard of anybody challenging no, them. Me neither. I heard people talking. A lot of talk. I hear a lot oh, of talk. You mean spray painting the sensors? <laughs> the cameras and stuff? Mm. Well, that was another thing. Oh, we're not going to get EL, ELDs. Nope, 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 ELDs. Nope, nope, not, not going to do that. Not going to do that. Oh, guess what? Too late. Guess what? They came out, and guess what you all did? You all put them in your vehicles. I will die before I comply. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Oops, even like, Procurior said, said he was going to die before he complied, but he damn sure had. He damn sure got behind well, the wheel with an ELD. Well, I have to tell you something. When John said he's not driving a truck with one he hasn't he didn't. yet he did uh, now there's probably about three there's tony justice there's john grosner uh i think denny uh there might be a handful that really have not complied but i, I have to say i did because it was either that or starve and unfortunately well I that's that's what the starve. problem is they have the drivers over uh, the barrel yeah but now with all these um let me think hackers that are demanding money mm. i'm surprised honestly i'm surprised that one of the big companies like warner or schneider that they haven't been hacked and their uh all their stuff held for ransom i'm just surprised but they've done it to the ferries you know the ferries but you know but it, it, they possibly could have been but it's such a devastation that they the media probably can't talk about well, that's it. true because they you know because yeah. they're censored I, I okay so i told joseph de lorenzo when it comes to the electronic logging device i'll live like a hermit in the woods before i use one 
I've had enough of this horse shit, okay? His attitude was, well, we have to make our decisions. Uh, as far as hacking goes, I've written Joseph DeLorenzo at the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. I may as well just say his name. I always say the FMCSA instead of saying yeah, his name. But you know what? Name. Screw it. I'm just going to put it out there. I've written a man about the hackability of electronic logging devices, about the hackability of trucks on computers. And I've shown him evidence. There was a blog out there. A guy had written a blog out how to do it on the Internet of Things. He had written a thing out to do it. He said, I could go further, but I'm afraid I would cause accidents on the road if I play around with this too much. This is as far as I can go. Okay? I've shown this to the FMCSA. Literally shown it to them. Mm -hmm. And the response was, the FBI... Uh, uh, claim on the hackability <laughs> of electronic FBI. logging devices was full of inaccuracies. God damn it. Joseph DeLorenzo is not an FBI investigator. He's not an investigator. That Wait man does not do investigations. That man doesn't know jack shit. Are you talking, okay? ab are you talking about the FBI, the federal? Are you talking about the feminine bust inspectors? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I know that the uh, uh, FMCSA does not do investigations on a hacking, hackability no, and bullshit they don't, like they're that. they're just highway safety. I show him that this guy shows us how to hack an electronic logging device. He shows us this. Mm -hmm. And he says, one, black, one guy's blog does not show fact-based evidence. <laughs> right. These guys don't care. I'm convinced, guys. I am convinced that it's, it's the United States government that is hacking everything. Mm -hmm. I am convinced on this, and this is why they want to go in this direction, because it gives them the ability and gives them the control over the corporations, over the individuals by hackability. Mm -hmm. I am convinced of that, because it doesn't make sense otherwise. Yep, that is, well, that's, that is something. Yeah. But I think our FBI is a bunch of shit right now anyways. <laughs> you can't even trust our own, we all... Always grow up to believe the FBI you can trust, the CIA, they're all on your side. And boy, did, did we learn in the last four years how bad it really is. And oh, wait a minute. Wait a oh, minute. wait a minute. I found out way before wait that. Minute. Wait a minute. That's right. We ha can't say that because um, that means I would be agreeing with Trump and I would be um, a terrorist and a racist. What else am I? Hmm. i got to be something else. Uh, I gotta have something. Was that a... Um, um, uh, what do they call that? A uh, white ring. Uh, I'm white privileged. Radical. A white ring. Oh, radical. that's right. Radical. That's I'm what I am. White privileged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm white privileged. Yeah. I'm white privileged. Hey, I'm, I'm waiting for my white privilege. In fact, I'm gonna call those Hodge kids twins. I said, I want my white privilege card. How much is? How much are they selling those white privilege cards for? Does anybody know? If you know, let me know. Because I'm buying myself oh, one. They got a website. All you got to do. I know. Is I go gotta there. go look it up because I want one. Hey, also, it's the Hodge twins. The Hodge. I like those guys. <laughs> I do. I really like those guys. They've gotten better with their stick. They're, they're really good. That is so funny. Because mm. it's funny because when he says, Brother, what color am I am today? <laughs> <laughs> am I the white one or am I the black one? <laughs> it just cracks me right up. Because, <laughs> you know, they're all confused because huh, half white, half black. Where do I go? Which way do I go? I don't know which way to go. Whatever. Yeah. What's the flavor of the day That's today? Funny. They, were, they were showing that video of uh, um, the cops taking down the guy and he goes, I really like this guy's beard. You got to see this guy's beard. You're going to see this guy's beard in the video. It's a great beard. Yeah, I know. It's so good. They're so funny. And then they start promoting their beard products. But, you know, um, that was just we, we, tonight was just kind of like a bitch fest for us because yeah. we were just tired and all these things that are coming out. I just want to I just want people to be people, to be kind to each other, to respect each other. I don't care who you are. I don't care what color you are. I don't even care what sex you are. It doesn't matter no, to me. Because there's only two. You are a person. <laughs> don't, don't care if you're gay or not gay. In I, fact, I it doesn't care. require an introduction in that I manner. Don't, I don't care. I, don't, I hate that when someone says to me, hi, my name is this and I'm gay. I don't care. I really, I personally don't care. All I want to know is you. What do you what's, what's in are your Are you a heart? good person? Do you have yeah. morals? Do you, you respect people? Do you people? have any values? I mean, yeah. what's going on with you? I don't give a crap what else you do. What what you goes on behind that closed door? I could care less. No. Unless it's somebody I know. <laughs> <laughs> Careful you put on Facebook. She just loves the dirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, yeah, don't. Oh, and that's another thing. Why would you put your... You air your dirty laundry on Facebook. I, you know, I, oh, I, I got to do something on Facebook. I ain't gonna tell you. I, I'm gonna do something. Yeah. It's gonna be good. You better, you better watch uh, women and uh, you better go onto our website because uh, we're gonna do a little something. I think. You oh, your, your Facebook page. My Facebook. She's page. She's gonna be naughty, y'all. 
No, I'm not nodding. I'm good, but not nodding. Yeah, I'll be back in about four days, and I've had to write, uh, I won't be naughty a hey, hundred times. Listen, we made it to, to 704. We didn't get <laughs> cut off. We didn't get censored because we really were good tonight. I only swore once or twice, I think, right? Well, John made it. I I, see, I was the good I'm kid going tonight. To I'm going to hell for saying the GD word. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to say you nothing. Said, but, oh, he you did. took the Lord's name in vain? He when, did. When, when I get there, I'm looking for Joseph DiLorenzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I, I did a, a Hail Mary and a prayer for you. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that Baptist said the Hail Mary. I'm nothing. I believe in my God. I have a relationship with my God. I'm nothing. I'm, we, we, I'm nothing. Hey, that's it. We're going to start our own group. We are, are group. nothing. Well, we are the group of nothing. <laughs> I'm nothing. I believe in my God. I have a relationship with him. That's all I am. Do you know in, what really matters? In regards to believing in God, I'm just going to come out and say it, guys. Yeah. I don't believe in God. I know God. Give me a sweet boy. Amen. Give me a sweet boy. I know him. I have a personal relationship with him. And trust me, he gets you, on to me when I'm bad. <laughs> do you know what really matters right now? BDM. Black dogs matter. <laughs> he is right here. and he's, saying, he's looking at me. He's going, yep. 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 I all, I'm the one that matters. Yep, I don't matter anymore. And I'm a nothing. Patty, I'm nothing. Nurse I'm Patty, nothing. I know you're listening. Remember, Jedi is waiting I for like his that. surprise. I'm nothing. I'm nothing. When people ask me, who are you? I'm nothing. Hi, Holly. I'm absolutely nothing. But we have to close out because, um, <laughs> like I said, black dogs matter. He's He wants to go outside. Yeah, I think I'm, oh, no, I got to get on my knees and you got some Clean cleaning to do. <laughs> yeah, because I was late for the show because my clock was well, wrong. I, well, I, couldn't I couldn't believe that. Uh, I, I went out to smoke a cigarette, and I looked down on Facebook, and I went, what the yeah, fuck? What are saying, they doing? What are you smoking? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. it's easier said than done. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be forced pretty soon here if I don't find a job. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, I don't buy cigarettes now. No, no, I, w- I wouldn't even ask. I'm, I'm not disrespectful like that. She missed the show. That was pretty disrespectful. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. <laughs> All right, we have to wrap it up. Remember, please believe in America, not the not media. Not the media. Our media just. I want to mm. go back to the days of Walter Cronkite. We need we need good reporters. Paul Harvey. I Paul loved Harvey. Paul Harvey. Yeah. Walter Cronkite. All those. All those. What's that comedian? Men? George somebody. Who was that? I liked him too. He was. Straightforward. Oh, uh, George. Talk- Cro- no, not Crooney. No, uh, what? I forget his name. I. It, that Mexican guy? No, no, no. from New York City. Uh, George. Uh, um, Carlin. Carlin. Oh, George yeah, Carlin. Yeah, 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 I loved yeah, him. Yeah. I liked him. He was well, today he'd probably be censored because he would. Oh, they would probably yeah. castrate yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would. <laughs> All right. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. You have a great night. We'll see you next week. Keep sending me those texts. My granddad said there's nothing scarier than a pissed off woman with a point to prove. <laughs>